Okay, the last thing to check on these uh, valves is the spring free length. So that's how long these springs are when they're not compressed. So for the outer one, the bigger one, I'm shooting for a uh, 41.5 millimeters. Mine measures up about 41.38 and the service limit is 39.4 so I am okay there and then for the smaller one the inner one it's 35.9 and looks like I'm at about 35.9 and the service limit there is 33.8 so those springs are good they'll probably be good all around okay I'm gonna measure the cylinders inside diameter its bore now it's gonna wear differently in the different directions so front to back will wear differently than side to side so I'm gonna take three different measurements in each direction and that's uh, one measurement will be 10 centimeters down from the face another one 60 centimeters down from the face I'm saying centimeters I mean millimeters and another one 20 millimeters from the bottom so I'll measure those three distances uh, in both directions so a total of six measurements to check between the service limits and the service limits are between 84.9 millimeters and 84.912 millimeters now my caliper isn't that accurate and I don't have a micrometer that big so I'll just have to make do with my caliper and see if I uh, see if I'm in there so I'll take my bore gauge put it in there release it about 10 millimeters down straight front and back <clears throat> just kind of wiggle it make sure I'm on the widest part lock it in pull that out and take a measurement not sure what I did there the first time but I tried it again and I got 84.91 so bang on right in the money um, now I just gotta make sure uh, I'm equal everywhere measurements are kinda finicky to take but I think uh, I think I'm okay it should also be noted that uh, there, can o there can't be more than 0 0.01 millimeters difference between any of the measurements you take so even if they're within spec but they are out from each other that much um, something needs to be done but I think this one's okay I'm gonna hone this a little bit anyhow so I should take the measurements after I do that and so I'll leave this for now I'm gonna measure my piston ring end gap so that's the gap between these two ends when this is in the cylinder so I'm gonna stick this in here and then I'm gonna just make sure it's square by using the piston to locate it And then I use my caliper and or sorry a thickness gauge and measure the end gap. So I'll show you that. You see the gap there? I'm just gonna measure what that is. So for the top and second rings, I want to be between 0.25 and 0.45 millimeters. So I have this 0.45 millimeter thickness gauge. I'll just see if I can slide it in between there. I can't, so that means I'm within uh, standard tolerances. And now I'll try the other ring. This is my second ring, same test. Can't get this guy in there, so we're good. I'm going to measure my piston ring groove. I'm going to try and use a caliper. You could probably stack up some thickness gauges and do it with that. Might give you a little better result, but uh, 1.03. Try it in a couple spots. 
two, and it's supposed to be between 1.02 and 1.04 millimeters. So the top ring groove is okay. And the second ring groove is 0 0.03 to Oh, sorry, point, 1.01 millimeters to 1.03 millimeters. It's a little tighter. 1.02. Now, I don't think I'm getting quite all the way in there, so this might just be the edge measurement. But either way, <clears throat> my grooves are okay in the piston. I'm going to measure the piston ring thickness. And for both of these rings, it'll be between 0.97 and 0.99 millimeters. Zero my caliper. Point 0.96. Hmm. Little thin, point nine five, little thin, nine six. That one seems like it's a little thin. Point nine seven, that's better. Point nine six, nine nine, nine seven. Nine six, so they're pretty close. Maybe a little thin. The next test for these piston rings is to check their uh, groove clearance, and the top one should be between 0 0.07 and 0 0.03 millimeters, and the second one should be between 0 0.06 and 0 0.02 millimeters. The service limit for the top being 0.17, and for the bottom being 0.16. So. Even in all those rings measured a little thin, as long as the groove clearance is okay, I think I'll be all right. So I don't have 0 0.07, so I'm going to use 0 0.06 to check the top one. It doesn't quite fit in there, so that one looks like it's good. Use the same one to check the bottom one. It doesn't get in there at all. So I think my groove clearances are okay. And this piston should be okay. I guess I have to check the diameter of this piston yet. For that I'll use my caliper. And I get a measurement of point or eighty four point eight six eight seven eight seven millimeters and I want a piston diameter between eighty four point eight four and eighty four point five seven eighty four point eight five seven so a little high service limit is 84.7 so I'm still okay um, I should probably measure it down here as well but I can't get there with my caliper or maybe I can 84.75 so a little more worn right about there should be across the diameter but still within the service limits so I think I'll still run this piston